How good was that verse just now? In case you haven't picked up yet, I'm going to be doing more Bible verses in the beginning of my videos. Hey guys, it's Jack Jack and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am doing my February favorites and I'm pretty surprised I have a good chunk here to share with you guys. But since we're on the topic of the Bible verse that I shared in the beginning of this video, let's go ahead and start with my first one, which is my reading from the Bible. So I just wanted to share this up on the screen. This is my Bible reading plan for 2021. I've shared it before and I've shared how I came up with it before too, but this is what I'm reading. So for the month of February, I was reading the book of Acts. I'm not gonna lie, I still have a few more chapters to get through before I finish and move on to Leviticus, which is what I'm reading for March. But um, I do wanna share my favorite chapters in the book of Acts. I love the book of Acts because we really see the beginning stages of the church and what real fellowship and unity looks like in the church and with believers. And um, I, so I just really, really love that. And especially in a time where we've been so isolated for so long um, and things are slowly starting to open up again, we feel like we can get back to that fellowship that we were once you know, doing. But in Acts chapter two, there's a section towards the end of the chapter called the fellowship of believers. And this I think just kind of plays it out so perfectly. It just showed the importance of fellowship and what that kind of looks like. Like what does fellowship look like? My next favorite part is chapter nine. And you guys, I've done a Bible study on chapter nine already. I'll leave it linked in the cards, but you should go watch that one. Chapter nine is so good because it is about the conversion of Saul, who's also known as Paul, his conversion from being someone who would persecute Christians to being someone who it impacts the kingdom of heaven greatly. And I absolutely love his story because it is such proof that your past does not define you whatsoever. Look at how God used Saul and just completely changed his life 180. Like once he had, had an encounter with Jesus, everything changed for him. And I think that's how it can be for us too. You know, we have this past, you know, this life of living in sin or just not caring. And when you have that encounter with Jesus, it just completely changes your life 180. And I just, his story is one of my favorites to read. I love Saul's story. And the last part I wanted to share from my reading that I just loved so much was Acts chapter 13, verses 38 to 39. I don't want this to be a whole Bible study because this is the favorites video, but I love that verse so much because it's so true. Like under the law, we, we couldn't be perfect. We are not perfect under the law. That's why we need a savior. We need Jesus. So all who believe, are set free from that sin. That doesn't mean we're sinless people because we still sin. It's a sin in itself if you meet a Christian that says they don't sin. That's a lie right there because we still sin. We're human, we're sinful by nature. That's just because of Adam and Eve. Like that's, that's how we are made now. But it just shows what believing in Jesus could do what believing in Jesus does. I know, I know this is not a Bible study video, Jackie, what are you doing? I just wanted to share my favorite parts from my reading. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. So now on to my other favorite things. Um, Liquid IV has been a longtime favorite for the past several months. Um, I have a couple here to share with you, but these are what gets my day started. These are the hydration multipliers. I also have the energy multiplier, which I really like too. So when I am feeling like, you know, midday slumps, is that what it's called? Like when I'm tired in the middle of the day, um, I'll usually take one of those and it is awesome. But I literally, I start my days with these. Um, I have sh passion fruit, which is so yummy. Strawberry, which is my favorite. It tastes like candy. Um, lemon lime, I really like because it reminds me of Gatorade kind of. And then I have pina colada, which this was, I think, limited edition in collaboration with Kygo. I had this one this morning. I just love liquid IV so much. I can't share enough good things about it. There's a lot of vitamins in there. If you are vegetarian, this is really great for you because there's B12 in here, I believe. And B12 is something vegetarians or vegans don't get a lot of. So that's why I love starting my day with these because I also get a lot of vitamins too that I may be lacking. I do have a coupon code you guys can use. If you use Jack Jack, you'll get 25% off. I do make a small commission from that. So it is affiliate, but I will leave it linked below just in case you guys want to try it out. Going back to the Bible and you know, my reading, it was all about fellowship, right? 
Well, one thing that I've been loving so much through the month of February is the connect groups with my church. I have been waiting for them to start up their connect groups again. Um, you know, with COVID, everything, it just made everything awkward and weird. But um, I, I joined a connect group with my church and I love it so much. It's through Zoom, but we get to fellowship together every Wednesday night and it is so awesome. I love it. I love it so much. If you are a part of a church, but not a part of a connect group, like you haven't gotten connected with your church yet, um, I highly recommend you do because it's a game changer. It's so important to have that fellowship with other believers, you know, hence everything that we read in the book of Acts. I want to encourage you, whatever church you go to, get connected. Get connected with your church. I want to share a favorite plant with you guys. Ah, this is Draco, my snake plant. Um, and I'm obsessed with Draco because he is just so low maintenance. He's so easy to take care of. Um, and look at this whole thing right here is brand new. I'm going to have to try and find a clip of when I first got um, Draco. It was just these two little guys right here. And I think they were a lot smaller too. I could be wrong, but I think they were a lot smaller. And look, this whole thing just grew. Like it is so awesome. I love it so much. But snake plants are great if you do not know how to take care of plants, this is the one you wanna get because it's so easy. You really don't have to water it often. If anything, and I've heard other people say this too, they actually kind of thrive on neglect. So you can kind of forget about them for a little bit. Um, when the soil is super -de duper dry, then you can water them again, but they don't need a ton of water. They can adapt to, you know, any lighting, any humidity, they're very like, they're just very easy going. They're very easy going plants. So if you are a beginner with plants, I highly recommend getting a snake plant. I got this from the Green Garden Nursery in, um, in like PB area. Um, how much was this guy? I think it was like seven, seven ninety five dollars for this little guy. But um, yeah, I just had to share that because I'm so excited. Look at this new growth, it's so awesome. And I think this is right here, another little growth. So maybe it'll look like this, like a little pairing in the future, but Yay! So my next favorite is the Rooted Beauty Sensitive 3-in-1 Micellar Cleansing Water. I got this from Gro Grove Collaborative. I've done videos about Grove Collaborative in the past. I liked them for a while, but then I realized it's just kind of a waste of money, to be honest. It's, it was like making me spend more than I needed to. So I ended up uh, like canceling my subscription with Grove Collaborative. Um, but this is one of the things that I got and I actually really, really like it. I love my cellar cleansing waters. They're just awesome in general. But um, I like to put this on a cotton round and just like take off my makeup that way. And it's just so easy and it takes off all my makeup. I don't think I've tried a micellar cleansing water that I've not liked. Like I just always love micellar cleansing waters. And this is a great one. And if you have sensitive skin, this is a good one. And I believe it's cruelty free. Is it vegan maybe? It's hypoallergenic. Um, fragrance free, paraben free, folate free, and sulfate free. My next favorite is my body lotion that I've been using and it is dun, 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 Hemp's. This is the Fresh Fusion Pure Herbal Extract Sugarcane and Papaya Herbal Body Moisturizer. What's weird is that I don't know when or why but um, my mom had this when I was in high school and I just decided to take it and start using it and I loved it. It just smells so freaking good. And then randomly Johnny and I were at Tilly's and we saw this and we're like, hey, let's get this because I used this in high school and it smells so, so good. And so we got it. This stuff, I'm not kidding. It really does smell so good. It's like, oh, that, that sugar cane and papaya, it's like fruity. It smells so fruity and delish. Enriched with 100% pure natural hemp seed oil. It says on here that hemp seed oil is one of the world's most perfectly balanced natural oils containing essential fatty acid and key amino acids, natural protein, carbohydrate, vitamins and nutrients vital for healthy, younger looking skin. It helps replenish and locks in moisture, enhances skin natural protective barrier, non-greasy, fast absorbing formula, gluten-free, paraben-free, dye-free, 100% vegan, no propylene, glyc okay, hard words. And it says THC free, in case you guys were wondering. But I just love it for the smell and it is very hydrating. So I have dry skin and when I use this on my body, I don't have to worry about it. You know one thing that's really bad about my skin is that it gets so dry sometimes that I will scratch 
like I will just scratch, scratch, scratch until my legs start bleeding um, because my skin is so dry. And then once I start scratching, I can't stop. And since using this, I have only scratched myself like a couple times, like not a, not a lot. So this definitely does help my legs and my skin stay moisturized. I have a little DIY favorite to share with you guys. It's little socks with rice and lavender essential oil. That's what's in here. Um, Johnny and I love using these whenever like our neck is hurting, whenever we have like, um, that's mainly what we use it for, our necks. What else do we use it for? No, mainly just our necks, yeah. But you can use it for your back, like lower back pains, um, knee pains. So what's great about this, it's like a perfect heating pad. You can just get a sock that you're not using, fill it with some rice, just regular old rice, you can throw in some essential oils like inside or sometimes I'll just do it here on the top. Put it in the microwave for a minute or two, maybe just a minute, and then it just feels so freaking good and relaxing and it helps relieve any aches and pains that your body may have. And I just love the little sock method. I think it's perfect, it works every time. Johnny and I bought like a little fancy one from TJ Maxx and honestly, the sock works better. The sock works better. So if you have any sort of aches and pains in your body, definitely try this out. Get some lavender essential oil in there. It's gonna help relax your muscles and ease that pain. So definitely like this. I have terrible posture, you guys. I don't know if you know that, but I have terrible, terrible posture. And so I'm always having to use this on my back or on my neck. I have some perfumes I wanna share with you guys. I got these from Pacifica not too long ago, and these are their new perfumes. I have the Flower Moon, which has jasmine, peach, and vanilla, and then I have Dream Moon, which has patchouli, sandalwood, and pink rose. I never know how to pronounce that, so. I think these are so cute. I just wish they had a lid on it. It didn't come with a lid. So I think it looks awkward without a lid. They smell very luxurious. For like a drugstore brand, they smell very luxurious. I like the Dream Moon one. Here, I'll spray one on each arm. Oh, the Dream Moon just smells so chill and relaxing. Like, like a perfume scent where you're not trying too hard, you know? You're like a chill vibe kind of gal. That's, <laughs> that's what this one smells like. The Flower Moon one is definitely more fragrant, more flowery, so more perfumey. Um, it smells older, like if they had an age, this one would be an older woman. This one would be like a young adult. <laughs> this just smells a little more sophisticated, but still very chill vibes, chill, relaxed, just more like sophisticated. I don't know how to describe scents. I worked in fragrance for a little while. I still don't know how to describe scents, but I've been really liking those perfumes and Johnny likes them too, which is always a plus. I have a blush palette that I wanna share with you guys. I've been obsessed with the Too Faced Sugar Peach Wet and Dry Face and Eye Palette. Oh, I didn't know you could use this on your eyes, but look at these delicious colors. Look at the tripod that I'm using. You are on a paper towel. There you guys are. But this palette is so beautiful and delicious. I'm wearing it today. It's probably not, you can see like that glow and that shine. That's my blush from this. I used this color today. I applied my makeup with my hands today, so that's why it looked like this. I love these colors. I love the formula of these. I've never tried them wet because I'm a little too intimidated to try them wet because they're so pigmented and so intense already on its own. Look at those. My favorite is like this one, but like a very, very little amount because it's so intense, but these are gorgeous. They're like the kind of blush that, you know, you can see it's like blush you can see and it also just highlights so much like my whole cheek is highlighted and that is simply just the blush i need to go wash my hands brb and my final favorite is a movie actually it's on netflix so if you have netflix you can watch it it's called the king it's not like a super new movie or anything but we just recently watched it and i watched it twice because that's how much i like it and johnny loved the movie too it's with timothy chalamet and that was my first movie seeing him and I'm a fan now. He was brilliant in that movie. Like he was so good. And I act, the, the real reason why I actually watched the movie is because Robert Pattinson is in it. And if you guys don't know yet, I have like a huge crush on Robert Pattinson. So I'm kind of watching all of his movies. I've watched a good chunk now at least 10 at this point. I think I've watched at least 10 of his movies at this point. So that was the real reason like it gauged my interest to begin with. But I have to say, Timothy Chalamet's performance was 
incredible and Johnny Johnny and I just love that movie down to watch it again who wants to watch it who wants to come over and have a movie night with me I'm down to watch it again oh wait I have one more favorite to share with you guys I've been talking about this on my vlog um, but for the past, I'd say for the past week now, I have been wearing my hair natural. This is my natural hair. This is me not styling it, just waking up and kind of going like this. This is my hair. It's quite frizzy, to be honest. I even put some hair oil in today and it's still a little bit on the frizzy side. But I have been rocking my natural hair texture a lot recently. And this is something you have to, you have to understand. This is something I never, ever do. Like all of high school, all of college, all of my YouTube career, whatever you want to call it, all of my YouTube channel, I never, never embrace my natural hair texture. It's like, I don't usually like doing this, but for some reason, I've been into it just in this past week alone. I don't know why, but I've been into it now. Not before, but now. I get kind of like hippie vibes with it, like because I'm not styling it and I'm not doing anything with it, but that is another favorite of mine. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know it was a long one, but if you've made it till the end of this video, let me know in the comments that you made it to the end of this video and know that you are awesome and I love you. Let me know what you have been loving for the month of February and I will see you guys in my next video.